We traced the email to a grad student named Matthew Hoffing. He works here part-time. Libraries, dreary places, aren't they? They smell like feet. I don't know. I think they can uh, be kind of romantic. Have you ever, you know, made out in a library? But, Detective, what has gotten into you today? This is usually when you tell me to focus on the work. And yes, of course I made out in a library. Right, yeah, I was, I was, I've been trying to kind of, you know what, never mind. <laughs> it's definitely not getting the reaction I was expecting. Right. So just, no, you know what, no. Since when have you been one to avoid sex? <laughs> LAPD, show us what's in your hands. No, raise your hands above your head where we can see them. Well, it might be a gun detector. It's not a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't know any. Uh, uh, better safe than sorry. Right. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any kid named Rick. You are D Man 69, yeah? It's a very clever play on words, by the way. It was never gets laid, number one taken. Yes. That's my email, but I only ever use it for, you know, porn. Care to explain why you sent Johnny Kane a threatening email yesterday at 9, 10 a.m.? Busted, Mr. Hoffing. You may as well come clean now, pun intended. First off, I'm kind of a fan of Johnny Kane. I think he's super talented, but not enough to email him. And secondly, I couldn't have emailed him at that time even if I wanted to. I was TAing a class. Uh, here, I, I can prove it. Okay, there is an email there. Well, wait for it. But it wasn't me. Did they ever get less predictable? No, I'm serious. It must have been hacked. I didn't send that email and I didn't send this one either. Oh, what other one? This one. Sent an hour ago. It wasn't me. Dr. Gwendolyn Scott, you're a world-renowned thoracic surgeon who saved an awe-inspiring number of lives, which is why it'll be so interesting to see what decision you make for this experiment. You can either destroy your hand or Ashley Corbett, an innocent sophomore at Malibu State, will die of poisoning. You have 24 hours to decide. Do what's asked and an antidote will be delivered. The choice is yours alone. This isn't just about Johnny Kane. We have to find Ashley Corbett now. 